when I traveled to Egypt last December, went to all these ancient sites, I really got two big things from this whole thing is, is first they were completely in tune with the cosmos. I didn't realize that the Egyptians were so into the zodiac signs and the stars, all with the cosmic alignments of the pyramids, et cetera, was just unbelievable. They were definitely in tune with uh, the cosmos much more than we are today. And the second thing, second major impression I got is that the pyramids were definitely not tombs. They felt like machines. It was like walking through an old battleship or something is what it really felt like going through uh, all the different pyramids. And so to me, it really felt like they were there for a specific purpose and it wasn't for a tomb. And that is the, the current mainstream Egyptologist argument. So the first argument we'll look at is that it's some sort of hydraulic system. So the idea is you have a 648 meter shaft, 10 meters diameter, and you fill it with water, you're going to get a hydrostatic pressure very high. So up to a thousand kilograms per cubic meter times 9.8, one meters per second squared times that distance, 648 meters, you're going to get 6.35 megapascals. That's going to be 921 pounds per square inch. And so that's in your industrial pump range. So effectively you have an industrial pump. 